Happy Thanksgiving. Pastor Greg here with an update for this Thanksgiving week and looking ahead to the weekend and the start of the Advent season. First of all, I want to say that I wish each and every one of you a, a very safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm mindful that this is an unusual year and your traditions and uh, your normal ways of gathering uh, for Thanksgiving may not happen this year. And so I pray that God's grace will be more than sufficient uh, to see us through this time and help us hold on to the hope that there are better days ahead. And uh, Thanksgivings in the future will once again involve doing what we value most, being with family, being with friends, and sharing around the table and giving thanks to God for all of God's blessings. Certainly, no matter the year, each day is an occasion for giving thanks to God, for God's many, many blessings to us. One of the blessings this past week is that we had a very successful Thanksgiving pie sale. $600 was raised directly, and with a matching gift, that brings the total to over $1,200. So thank you to all those who baked pies, bought pies, and uh, we look forward next year to being able to not only offer pies for sale, but also sharing together in a community turkey dinner and a church family turkey dinner. I want to say thank you to those who have been making the sanctuary and TCC and other places uh, look a lot like Christmas. We're getting ready for the Advent and Christmas season, and so thank you to all those who had a hand in bringing out the decorations, getting the trees assembled, the lights put on, ornaments placed. We uh, will be sharing the images of those as we uh, share the stream on, on Facebook, also images on our uh, Facebook page and elsewhere, so that the Christmas season can be something that even though we're not able to gather as is normal, we still can see the beauty of this space that we call our church home. As I mentioned, Advent starts this Sunday, uh, and we'll have worship at 8.30 in the TCC, with that service being streamed live on Facebook Live, and worship then again at 11 in the sanctuary, and that will also be broadcast on KCCR. I want to encourage all of us in this time in which uh, COVID-19 is, is spreading rapidly and widely throughout our community, that we all need to take care of ourselves. And... If you choose to come to church, please uh, assess your own health condition, your own risk factors. We believe we're taking steps to keep things safe, but we want to encourage everybody to utilize those measures. We do have hand sanitizers available at each entrance store, masks available for those who don't have a mask. And we do ask that everyone, please, please wear a mask uh, as we are uh, gathered for worship. Uh, we do... Uh, try and do social distancing so that if folks are singing or presenting and are not able to wear a mask at that time, folks are situated far enough away. But generally speaking, we want to have masks on at, at all times. So uh, we look forward to our gathering and our gathering together in ways that are safe. This Sunday, with the start of Advent, we're going to be launching the series that will become our focus. The series is called Incarnation. It is based on a recent book and study developed by Pastor Adam Hamilton and the folks at Church of the Resurrection in Kansas City. Incarnation literally means enfleshment. It is the word we use to describe how God came to us wrapped in human flesh. God came to us in Jesus, a baby born at Bethlehem. God, creator of the universe and, and mysteries beyond all human knowledge and understanding, squeezed into human flesh. We're going to explore the various dimensions of incarnation and its significance for our lives now and forever. I want to share with you... Uh, in these next moments, a brief video that lifts up some of the themes that we're going to be exploring through this series, Incarnation.
I'm excited to unpack each of the themes uh, week by week as we make our way through Advent. Indeed, there is no more significant event in all of human history than God coming to us in Jesus, God's very Son, bringing together God and humanity. And so join us. Join us either in worship here uh, in the TCC or the sanctuary. Uh, join us online through Facebook Live. Join us as you listen to the radio broadcast on KCCR. There also is a study book that goes with this series. We do have copies available in the church office. They are $12. And there is a group that is meeting on Wednesdays over the noon hour. If you'd like to participate, just be in touch with us in the church office, either to participate in that noon Wednesday study or to receive a copy of this book. Again, the books um, are $12 and you can uh, uh, pick them up. We do have them on hand. We look forward to uh, the season that is just coming up very fast. The season of Advent, a time of waiting, of watching, of preparing. And as we do, uh, I pray that this will be a time in which the meaning of God with us, God in human flesh, will mean more than it ever has. Knowing that as we face some really challenging times right now, that God has walked this earth with us. And God is still with us and will never leave or forsake us. So let us face the future with hope and let us face this coming week full of gratitude. God be with you all. Have a blessed and amazing, God amazing, God filled week. <laughs>